Uh, hey there, I'm Joshua Molina. I'm a Malibu dad with a son who last year attended sixth grade at the high school. Uh, this year we pulled him out of the district entirely as a result of a near total crisis of confidence in Sandra Lyon. Uh, most of the members of the SMM USD uh, board, uh, and frankly, uh, some of you who sit on the city council. Uh, in the interest of sticking to my three minutes, I will read my statement. Um, so as a concerned parent, I've been reading the Santa Monica Malibu uh, Unified School District's PR email blasts with a close eye, and they followed an interesting pattern. The first 10 or 12 emails that I received over the past six weeks or eight weeks uh, boil down to this. Safe, safe, safe. Our schools are safe. This building's been open. That room's good to go. School's going great. The EPA has given us their blessings. Everything's swell. La, la, la. But then I got their most recent email, and there's an interesting shift. While it has the same cheery tone, it now informs us that yes, there is an area of contaminated soil that's fenced off, and you might want to keep your kids away from that. And sure, the woodworking room at the high school and the therapist's office at Juan Cabrillo, you might want to tell your kids, don't go too close. And also, also, remind your kids to wash their hands frequently. <laughs> Additionally, the email says that the toxic cough that they've been telling us is perfectly fine. They've now decided to get rid of that. It'll take them nearly a year, but it's going. And even though they now deem this PCB-filled cough enough danger to remove from schools, the letter tells us that the district does not feel it's at all necessary to test the cough in the other pre-1979 classrooms. Council members, I think what's happened is that we've finally reached a point where anyone even glancingly familiar with the situation, even those in our community who have had their heads stuck deep, deep down under that questionable soil, even they have to admit there's something not quite right with this picture. And we need more information. Do we want our public schools to have safe areas and dangerous areas and untested mystery areas? Do we want to obsess about whether our kids are washing their hands thoroughly and frequently enough each day to avoid an elevated risk of cancer? No. Nobody wants that. And yet that's the current state of affairs. And it's an utter disgrace. And it's time for you all to stop being indirectly part of the disgrace. Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel said that indifference to evil is worse than evil itself. I'll repeat that. Indifference to evil is worse than evil itself. Well, thus far, most of you have shown us your indifference to the situation in our schools. And Resolution 1458, bravely put forward by our mayor, is your chance to redeem yourselves. I've looked at your agendas. You guys do great work. But how often do you get a chance to show up and be a hero and be one of the good guys? I assume that's why some of you, maybe all of you, got into public service. So now I beg you, empty your minds of all the noise around the situation. I've got about 12 seconds. Put it all, keep it all out. Sandra Lyon, legal liability, EPA, tip of the iceberg, Monsanto, nationwide issue, Barbara Boxer. Shut all that out, and in the quiet that ensues, ask yourself one simple question. What is the risk in gathering more information? What is the harm of further testing? You know who's afraid of further testing? The people who are going to have to deal with the potential results. And believe me, every parent here just wants the results to show that our schools are safe for our students and our teachers. Now is the time for you all to stand up and with your votes on this resolution, help us get some more answers. Thank you.